I'll be going over the settings for Windows 11 in several categories that you might want to change to improve your overall experience. In no particular order, the first setting we'll be changing is the Windows Update Options. For this one, we'll need to open the Settings app. So in the taskbar, go to Search and type Settings. When it shows up, select it. You can also open the Settings app with the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus I. In the left pane, select Windows Update. Here on the right, click on Advanced Options. There's a couple here I'd recommend changing. Disable Get Me Up To Date, because you don't want your computer restarting immediately after updating, especially if you're in the middle of a project. The other one is to enable Notify Me When A Restart Is Required To Finish Updating. This will ensure that you get a notification for an update that requires a restart. Traditionally, with Windows operating systems, the Start button and pinned icons on the taskbar have been aligned to the left. That'll change with Windows 11, with those items being centered by default. Thankfully, if you prefer the old layout, you can change it back. In the taskbar, find an empty space, right-click, and select Taskbar Settings. Scroll down and click on Taskbar Behaviors. In Taskbar Alignment, click the drop-down menu and change it from center to left. It's as easy as that, and you can easily switch it back as well. Windows 11 tracks and collects more data than the previous operating systems from Microsoft. To reduce what they know about you, in Settings, select Privacy and Security. Then select General. Turn off what you don't need. Actually, none of these are necessary, so I turn them all off. Let's go back to the Privacy and Security menu. Scroll down, select Account Info. Turn off, let apps access your account info. The first thing I do when setting up a new computer is to get rid of the unnecessary software I don't need, also known as bloatware. To do this in the Settings app, go to Apps. Then click on Installed Apps. Next, go through the list and look for the programs that you don't want. When you find one, Click on the three dots and select Uninstall. Then click Uninstall again. The default theme for Windows apps is Light Mode. If you're not okay with being blinded by it, you can easily change it to Dark. In Settings, go to Personalization, then select Colors. In Choose Your Mode, click the drop-down menu and select Dark. That is so much better. While we're here, let's go back to personalization. Windows 11 introduced a widgets panel in the taskbar that shows the weather and news. Some people find it helpful and others find it to be an unnecessary distraction. To get rid of it, scroll down and click on taskbar. Click the toggle for widgets to turn it off. Windows 11's default power mode is set to balanced. You may want to change this based on your preference. In the search bar, type power. Select choose a power plan. If you're using a laptop, Power Saver is great to extend the battery life between charges. If not expanded, click show additional plans. Depending on your PC, you may see different plans than what is shown here. High and ultimate performance are good for those times you're playing a game, editing a video, or some other task that requires more power. If you want to turn off those annoying notifications that sometimes distract you at the worst times, in the Settings app, in System, go to Notifications. Here at the top, you could turn off all notifications from apps and senders. Or if you scroll down, you could go through the list and turn them off individually. Microsoft, along with the programs and games you have installed, often have files and folders that are hidden from you by default. Most people don't ever need to access them, but if you're like me and make modifications, you'll want to be able to access those files. In File Explorer, at the top, click on View, hover over Show, then select Hidden Items to put a check next to it. You'll now be able to see the hidden files and folders on your computer. A handy feature in Windows called Storage Sense will automatically free up space on your computer. To enable it, in Settings, with System selected, go to Storage. In Storage Management, click the toggle to turn on Storage Sense. Now click into it for additional settings. 
Here you can adjust the settings for when it runs to clean up your files. The Start menu gives you quick access to the programs on your computer. Next to the Power button, you can add shortcuts to various folders and apps, including Downloads, Documents, Settings, and several others. To do this, in the Settings app, select Personalization. Scroll down and click on Start. Then select Folders. Turn on those that you want appearing next to the Power button. I'll turn a few of these on. Click on Start, and there they are. If you're noticing performance issues with Windows 11, one possibility could be the visual effects are slowing it down. To adjust the visual effects, go to the search bar and type Advanced. Click on View Advanced System Settings. In Performance, select Settings. In the Visual Effects tab, the default is let Windows choose what's best for my computer, adjust for best appearance, will enable all effects, adjust for best performance, will disable all. I don't recommend doing this as the interface will look terrible. Instead do this and select custom. It may take some trial and error based on your computer. Start by ticking these four first. If needed, try enabling or disabling the others one at a time to make sure it doesn't have a negative impact on performance. Brace yourself. I will now say something nice about Microsoft. Their Edge browser is actually really good. But if you're a fan of another browser, they've made it easier to switch the default browser in Windows 11. To do so, open Settings and select Apps. Then select Default Apps. Go find the web browser in the list that you want to make the default. In this example, let's make Brave the default. Click into it, and in the top right, select Set default. You can do this with any browser you have installed. If you have multiple computers, having a custom name for that computer can make it easier to find on your network. To give your computer a custom name, open Settings, and in System, scroll all the way down and click on About. In the upper right, select Rename this PC. Now give it the name you want. When you're done with that, click Next. For the change to fully take effect, click Restart Now. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What settings do you change when setting up a new PC? Let me know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with Windows 11, along with other tech-related stuff.